Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. Um, so Lara and I tried to do a video together via FaceTime and Facebook Messenger and we weren't able to get it to where it recorded our audio. I tried it on my phone and she tried it on your, her phone and we weren't able to do it. So as you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about Hurricane Milton, <clears throat> excuse me, um, gosh, <clears throat> excuse me. So I received an email with concerns for mine and my sister's safety in regards to Hurricane Milton. And I don't know what Lara's going to say. She's going to send me a video because, like I said, we tried to do a video together and it just wasn't working out. We will get it figured out, but that's beside the point. Um, there was concern about our safety in regards to Hurricane Milton. And I just wanted to let you guys know that we are all safe. We're nowhere near the hurricane in any way, shape, or form. I live in Kansas, which is middle America, and Lara lives in California, which is on the Pacific Coast. And um, the hurricane is going through Florida, which is the East Coast. And as of right now, it has probably reached the Tampa area. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we do know that as in the eye, the eye is reached. Um, it has been getting hit. All of Florida has been getting hit. We have family and friends there. We have family in the Tampa area, Orlando, as well as um, Saint, uh, Port St. Lucie. And Tampa is getting the brunt of, because the, the, um, the storm is coming in from the Gulf, so it's hitting the West Coast first and making its way across the state to the East Coast. But Port St. Lucie is getting hit right now with tornadoes. Uh, it's been roughly an hour since Lara and I were trying to actually talk uh, to each other and film our little um, video. And they were getting a lot of tornadoes. As a matter of fact, Lara's in-laws were getting hit by tornadoes. Um, they are fine. They have had some structural damage but other than that everybody is fine and that's all that matters is that everybody is fine our cousin lives she actually just moved to florida this past may and she lives in tampa and her youngest son also lives in the tampa area and both of them traveled in inland to Orlando where the um, where her oldest son lives um, so our cousins are all together there's five adults three children something like two dogs three cats I'm not a hundred percent sure um, but they are all together and they are all hunkering down and last I checked they were all doing really doing really good um, they were getting a lot of rain and stuff but they weren't seeing any thing that would cause any structural damages or potential damages uh, that was really the southern part of Florida um, I'm trying to remember for those who don't realize the United States is incredibly massive it is approximately a two two to three day drive from the Pacific coast to the uh, East coast, the Atlantic coast. So depending on where you're at, it, that's, it's a two to three day drive. And for me, it would be roughly a day to two day drive. It, that's all dependent on how fast we are, how many stops we make and yada, yada, yada. So that being said, if we were to drive straight through me if I were to drive straight through from here in Kansas to my cousins in Florida it would probably take us probably just over 24 hours give or take and for Lara it would be double that because I'm 
relatively centrally located and Lara is on one coast and it would be going to the other coast. Uh, that being said, we are safe. We are in um, nowhere near any harm to what is going on with the storm. And I will put a link in the description box below in regards to uh, whether or not you would want to try and help the people in Florida by donating if you can. I will be linking um, the Samaritan's Purse. And yeah, if you can, we understand if you can't, that's, I mean, totally understandable. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, if you can donate, that would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, I, we are watching and we are praying for all of our friends and family and anyone else in the direct path of Milton. Um, they did just get hit with Hurricane Helene, I think it's called. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's, anyways, they had just gotten hit with that. And that actually, I think, went further up north. And um, Milton is going just straight across. I'm. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm not 100% sure on that. I just know people in the Carolinas got hit hard with uh, Hurricane Helene. Uh, as well as Florida, obviously. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are safe. We are nowhere near the storm. We do have family and friends, and we are concerned for their well-being as well as everyone else in the direct path. And any prayers, um, any thoughts, anything that you can do for them would be greatly appreciated. And... Yeah, thank you for the concern. I appreciate your concern. I just wanted to reify that we are safe and we are fine. So with that, remember, gravity works, guys. We just had a tornado go right past our house. Bob was in the garage and saw it. This happened in less than a minute and it did sound like a train. Here's the front part of our house where the tornado went through. Really freaking scary. It almost moved the camper into, it did move the camper into the garage. Trees gone. Here's the street. Hi, I'm Lara, Jules' sister, and obviously she's already explained that we have to do two separate videos, and so here's my portion. And um, some of her followers were concerned due to Hurricane Milton hitting Florida and Walt Disney World. And yes, I live by a Disney land here in California. And between the two, flying from Disneyland to Walt well, Disney World in uh, Florida is a five hour flight. So it is a huge distance away. While Milton is a very large storm, it is nowhere near me because it's in the Gulf of Mexico and I am on the west coast of the United States. I have, um, in-laws, my father-in-law and stepmother-in-law, they do live in Port St. Lucie, which is on the east coast of Florida. And her daughter, my husband's stepsister and niece and nephew and great niece, they do live on the west side of Florida. They have evacuated from the west side of Florida into Port St. Lucie. Uh, earlier today, about five hours or so ago, um, Port St. Lucie was hit with some tornadoes. One of the tornadoes actually went down um, my um, in-laws street, um, past their house, damaged their screened in porch, um, and some and did some um, small exterior damage to the front of the house. 
Uh, thankfully, it was just a screened-in porch that was um, damaged. Um, everybody seems okay. Um, I was maybe a, a one. Um, nothing too um, severe, and everybody is okay. Um, we do have friends. I have friends that live in the Orlando area, and um, obviously our cousin, Cece, and her one son, they went from the west coast of Florida to the east coast with um, her other son. So they evacuated out of the area where Milton should be hitting uh, soon. It's almost five o'clock here in California, which would mean it's almost eight o'clock in Florida. So um, the eye of Milton is um, gonna make landfall soon if it hasn't already. Um, but anyways, just a short uh, brief information. I am totally safe. Um, Jules, who lives in Kansas, she's in the middle of our country. She is totally safe. We are not in any harm's way, but we do have family and friends that are in harm's way, along with um, our Disneyland family, because my husband does work for the parks uh, and daughter. So we have Disneyland family that are in jeopardy. So if you can keep all those people in prayer, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for your concern. Um, continue to pray for those in the path of Milton and those who are um, recovering from um, Hurricane Helene. And I guess I just watched the news today has been the biggest outbreak of tornadoes in Florida history from this particular um, hurricane. So uh, be safe out there um, and thank you. Remember, grab your works, guys.